Looking forward into 2021, there's three areas that I'm most excited about. One is alternative chloride channels being tested, better therapies to hydrate the airways for people without CFTR modulators. For many years, we've been talking about activating CFTR, restoring CFTR, but there are other chloride channels in the lung that we already know about. One of them is the calcium activated chloride channel or TMEM 16A, it's got a funny scientific name, but it basically sits in lung cells and it does transport chloride similar to CFTR. And a company called Enterprise has developed a small molecule that can be taken as a drug that activates that chloride channel. So you don't need a modulator to, affect, to increase your CFTR function. And this, we were very excited about our early funding. <clears throat> and in fact, Genentech and Roche were so excited about this program that they purchased the program from Enterprise and are now moving it forward into phase two trials right now. So hopefully this year we may get some results on whether or not this will benefit people with CF. It's still early, but it's very exciting. There's another program by Systetic Medicines that's trying to develop an artificial chloride channel that can be inhaled based on the, the antifungal drug, amphotericin. There was a paper that came out a few years ago that was very exciting, and that's moving forward as well. And Ionis is still working and moving forward on its therapy for ENAC inhibition, which is not a chloride channel, but it's a sodium channel and blocking that channel seems to improve the hydration of, of CF cells in, in, in the lab. And we're hoping this will be another way to improve hydration and mucus clearance in people with CF even before they have a chance to use modulators. Phage therapy is another very important area. A lot of press in the, in the newspapers and lay press. We funded our first clinical trial in phage therapy with a $5 million award to Armada. And they're enrolling patients right now to test whether or not a cocktail of phage, which are really viruses that infect and kill bacteria, will impact people with Pseudomonas infections in CF. It's really a completely novel way of going after antibiotics. There's been a lot of talk about phage for many, many years, and what we really need is a good solid clinical trial. And Armada is moving forward with that, and there are several other programs that we're considering that could move forward in the next year or two. And if we look further into the future, one of the most exciting things to me are some really new, exciting advances in gene editing. These are technologies that really didn't even exist a few years ago that are now able to target very specific parts of CFTR and put in large pieces of DNA. And what really this allows us to do is to develop a single cure, a single treatment that will cure everyone regardless of their mutation. Very exciting, but still very early. 